February 13th, 2014, and it is a gorgeous day out here. Let me show you all the view real quick. Got the field, nice sun. Got Will doing some uh, just jog slash sprints. Gym, got the sun coming in. We're uh, actually doing some sumo deadlifts today. So instead of conventional, so just gonna try some sumo uh, leg day, and here we go. Previous high score in Flappy Bird was 39 in my last video. Now we are at uh, 112, so getting better, guys. 10.36 p.m., February 13th, 2014, and uh, we are here sitting outside my gym, about to go home. Got all my stuff packed up, and uh, it's been a long day. Been here since 9 a.m., uh, so 13 and a half hour day. Uh, I took about an hour break to go get Nala some trifexis, so I had Blake watch the gym for me. And uh, it's a nice feeling. I don't want to say it's like a rewarding feeling necessarily, but you know, if you look outside, these trucks over here are there, right there are there every single night. So um, I don't know. It's just a nice feeling knowing that you're the last one out. You know, you're the one shutting off the lights, heading home, and that's it for the night. So kind of cool um, little thing there, but. Gonna go home, and yeah, today was crazy. Lots of online stuff, lots of stuff. People coming in the gym. I actually uh, met not my competitor, but there's a guy that owns a personal training studio about a mile and a half down the road. So he came by, introduced himself and everything, checked out the place, and got to talk. And you know, real cool guy. Um, we have different markets and everything, but it was so cool. He's 29 years old, so he's a fairly young gym owner, and. Um, it just, it's so cool to just talk to people that share that same passion as you do, you know, so uh, he's competing at the Arnold Classic actually in the men's physique uh, My phone's going off, so he'll be competing in the men's physique and I told him, oh, I'll be there also I'll be there the 27th or the 2nd. He was like, oh, no way, man. That's awesome. You're going so it was, It's cool just meeting people in your area that do the same thing you do and um, Yeah, so I'm gonna go home eat something and uh, go to bed guys got a long day tomorrow so I came home to some fresh cut pineapple. Really cold, it was in the fridge. Oh, sweet pineapple, and uh, it's my fa second favorite. Actually, it's probably my first favorite fruit, along with strawberries, but when I'm dieting in a caloric deficit, I normally don't have too much pineapple, just because it's very, uh, it's very dense, so it's not very, uh, it's not high volume. It's not very, you don't get a lot of it for the calories you get. So um, I save it for when I'm in a lean bulk or bulking up and do strawberries. These are very high volume, lower calorie for uh, when I'm cutting. So I'm going to enjoy that whole tub right there and uh, then go to bed. February 14th, Valentine's Day. So now that I kind of think about it, there's a lot of different smarter ways I could have done this instead of picking up here and then driving three and a half hours. But I guess we'll see how, how good they last. It's the thought that counts, right? Kind of weird. You got the Charger, then you got the Dart over there, both in black with the blue stripe. We made it to San Antonio. It's only about 2.30 and uh, these came out great. So they lasted pretty well. My car's kind of wet, but that is all good. They look great. Got the card and everything. So there it is. And I got some Valentine's gifts if you'll hold that. So I'm going to go ahead and open them real quick, guys. Sour Patch watermelons are my favorite. And this over here, let's open this up and see what this is. 
Favorite candy by far, by the way. Over here, we got... I already knew what these were before, but a whole box of chocolate cookie dough quest bars. So these are my favorite flavor. Very excited to eat these. And yeah, so thank you, Nikki. Throw it in the microwave for 10 seconds. And there we go, a lot softer, like a cookie. Trying to make an imprint on the game